Hello all, welcome back to my channel. Let's discover with Shreves. As you can see in the title, I got admitted into McMaster University for Fall 2021 Systems and Technology program. So far, I got admitted into three universities, which is University of Windsor for Applied Computing, McMaster University for Systems and Technology, University of Alberta for MSc Computer Science, Specialization in Multimedia. So I would be going with University of Alberta for MSc Computer Science Multimedia program only. I'm almost near to the uh, applying for visa and yes I have rejected the other offers so uh, you don't have to worry that I have, like this uh, seats will be uh, reserved by me. So I hope that you know my seats will be given to someone else worthy and if you are not aware McMaster ranks 144 according to the new QS World Ranking 2021 and this university is in Hamilton. So let me talk about the admission procedure and my journey towards it. I applied for McMaster University in December 2020 and uh, December 20 uh, date and yes, uh, it, so as soon as you apply, so you need to pay your application fees. So when you are applying this for this, so make sure that you apply all the documents uh, including your IELTS scorecard soft copy because the reason why I'm telling this is McMaster University this name is not present either in IDP or in British Council for you to send your scores electronically so if you don't uh, you know upload your scorecards at the time of application it is going to be a little difficult procedure for you then you might need to send a hard copy which is again going to cost you a little more so this program is uh, you know, I had a lot of confusion if whether I need to apply to computer science, you know, program or this program. The reason why I applied to this program is because a lot of courses are related to artificial intelligence and I felt the computer science the general one to be a little boring one. It's my personal choice though. Uh, so that's why I applied to systems and technology and this systems and technology, it comes under W booth. So whatever the programs are under W booth. They all have to undergo Kira interview and this Kira interview again you need to pay 60 Canadian dollars for it extra separately uh, along with your application fees. So firstly I had to pay uh, for the Kira interview and then I had to pay for the McMaster application fees. So as soon as I paid it so I think it took like a week or five days for me to get the Mc, uh, ID. So you will get a Mc ID whenever you apply for McMaster. So after that, so you can log in into Mosaic, which is the stu which where you can see the student center and you can see the status of your application and you can also see whatever you know the things are required and pending on your side whether the professor has completed the LORs from your uh, on your behalf or not, and then uh, I, I guess it uh, I guess because it was Christmas and winter holidays so. As soon as they opened it, after like a week or so, so I got the link for the McMaster Kira interview. So this Kira interview link is valid for a week and then it expires. I took the exam on the last day of the, you know, expire before uh, it expires. And this Kira interview, it's a non-technical interview. So it is a video interview. So the questions will be pre-recorded once. You also have a chance to take a demo test for as many times as you want and it's a demo. Uh, so when you start your real test, you will have three questions on which you need to speak and there will be one question on which you need to talk, so on in which you need to write. So the writing part, it's the timing is for I think 9 to 10 minutes and you will be given a topic, some situational kind of question and you need to write for that. So even for the speaking part, the three speaking questions, there would be, you know, a situational kind of things like you are here, how did you inspire your juniors, what kind of visions you have, something like that. You can actually Google uh, the Skira interview. You'll get a lot of questions and you'll get idea on as how this interview takes place. And just, uh, you know, three days before, I think it was today is April 3rd. I think on April, yeah, April 1st, I got my admit. I don't remember the time because I really didn't go much to the offer letter also. So this, uh, uh, I got it on April 1st and then uh, according to the offer letter, I need to pay 500 Canadian dollars in order to reserve the seat. 
and the overall fees for the one year tuition fees is thirty four thousand and five hundred Canadian dollars. There are some extra fees also. So overall, I think that can go up to thirty six Canadian thirty six K Canadian dollars, and that is the fees that I need to pay. That's a one year whole tuition fee that I need to pay in order to get uh, you know come under the SGS visa. So SGS is applicable only to the few selected countries, out of which India comes uh, into that category. And yes, I'll be joining University of Alberta soon. I'm in the process of that. And if you have any kind of questions related to any kind of university admissions, please do you know feel free to uh, you know comment or you can even mail. I do reply uh, within generally like into two or three days. It might take us some time because I'm a working and you know I don't uh, you know sometimes I forget in my work things. So yeah, and I hope that everyone gets admitted and all the best to you, everyone. Thank you.